Hi, welcome to my channel ClickView Enthusiast. I am Abhishek, a ClickView learner, and today I will share my learning about one of the very interesting ClickView object, bookmark. So, as I think every one of you is familiar with what bookmark is, but if someone is not familiar, it's a very simple concept, like if you are reading a book and uh, you know you are halfway through the book and uh, you just enter some pen or you place a a, pap a paper you know at that page uh, as a mark so that uh, whenever you are opening that book again you know you can continue uh, from where you left so it's a similar concept uh, in click view also so in ClickView, uh, you do some analysis and uh, you do s some selections and after doing certain selections and filtering the data, you arrive at some conclusion and uh, you want to save that result and do some further analysis. So in that case, saving a result can be done in the bookmark object. So let's see how this can be done and uh, what are the things that we can achieve with the bookmark object. So for creating a bookmark object, let's right click here, go to new sheet object and uh, select the bookmark. So let's say the title is bookmark. We'll leave it the background as it is, show add button for adding a bookmark, show remove button for removing a bookmark, apply. Okay. So this is a bookmark you know window that we got by selecting the options add bookmark and remove bookmark and uh, these this is the drop down box where uh, you see uh, the different bookmarks that we will create in a moment all right so let's do some selections to arrive to an uh, conclusion so for example we want to do an analysis on 2011 data and uh, we want to do something on convenience stores and in the convenience store we want to do analysis on product group 20 let's say sub product group is uh, 24 all right so this is the analysis that we are doing on the margin of uh, this 2011 convenience store so let's save this by clicking on the add bookmark icon so we say that convenience store 2011 and march in and uh, we will make we will leave this default option enable like make this bookmark a document bookmark which means it will be applicable to all of the sheets that are present in this document and include selections in the bookmark. So whatever we selected in this uh, analysis will be selected for this bookmark. So we click OK and we will clear all of the selections. And let's say now we do it for revenue. So for 2011, uh, our this thing is convenience store. I think we selected uh, the product group 20, sub product group was 24 and let's say we want to create another bookmark and we have this again convenience store and now we have uh, revenue and of 2011 I think I placed some word here and there so earlier 2011 was here and revenue was uh, margin was in the end so at no, no point no problem uh, we can live with this okay so now you see, if you clear all the selections, you have these two bookmarks for you, where you can revisit the analysis that you made. And this is really helpful. Say for example, uh, you have been given with some responsibility of doing some 10 or 15 different analysis. Now every time you cannot send an email with individual analysis okay I have completed this here is the result after a half an hour or after say for three or four hours you are shooting an another email to your management that here is my another analysis but 
with this bookmark option this becomes really helpful because whatever analysis you can make uh, you are making you can bookmark it by using this bookmark add bookmark option and if any of the analysis is obsolete and not used anymore you can select that and click the remove bookmark so you see this as i selected this one the these filters are automatically selected for me for revenue and if i'm selecting for margin you know the margin is selected for me so in this way uh, this will be really helpful in showing you know tens of or hundreds of different analysis that you want to make in your document so let's uh, see if we how we can remove that so if i selected this and say remove bookmark okay so it is giving me the option like uh, which option i want to select but is not appearing properly so we need to drag a little bit uh, let's say this much no it is not coming all right so if i select that option it is giving me this option here uh, like convenience to 2011 margin do I want to do remove this I say okay and now I will be having only revenue bookmark for convenience store so this is basically to give you an idea about why and how a bookmark is used in the analysis let's see some of its property so these are simple ones which text color or which background color you want to use button alignment uh, this is horizontal but you can make it vertical so this come one by below to this and you say show my bookmark show bookmark info text if you have provided the info text uh, it will be shown and uh, font is simple uh, the what which font you want to give to the uh, list boxes charts etc or in this case to the bookmark you can set the font style and the size layout is uh, similar to our other components where you can conditionally show or always show this bookmark if you want to allow uh, another user or another developer to move or resize this they can do that if they want to copy or clone this they can also do that if this is enabled if there is any scroll buttons what should be the scroll buttons color and what should be the scroll back color background uh, you can define and the width can also be defined from here and uh, caption caption is here the bookmark if you want to enable disable this you can uncheck and click apply so bookmark will be the caption will be removed for you so let's make it enable again in active caption and active caption these properties uh, the bookmark what should be the back bookmark background and text uh, in this object uh, they have been uh, set with some themes so that's why they are not appearing with this background color but if you're creating your bookmark from the scratch you can definitely go ahead and uh, change the colors according to your own requirement and the company policies caption alignment you want it centered it can be centered very simple similarly right if you want to make it right you can make it right apart from that if the caption is long and uh, you know exceeding the window size then you can wrap that text and make it uh, in two three or four different lines based on your requirement uh, apart from that you have x position and y position so the position at which the the bookmark box is appearing this is the position in the dashboard the coordinate x and y coordinate and the width and the height is uh, the width sorry the height and the width of the uh, the bookmark so if you want to give an option to the end user that they should be able to allow for minimizing this thing a uh, bookmark you can do that this option the minimize button will come 
and if you want them the option of maximizing then you can give us this thing uh, and uh, you enable this and uh, the maximize button will be enabled for you apart from that if you are giving any help text it can appear as an help for those who have never used so you can give an appropriate help text like in my case I just gave this is uh, help text say apply and another icon the question mark icon will come to say uh, what kind of a bookmark option it is so this is a help text the text which I just entered this is minimize button and this is maximize very simple so uh, this is a very nice feature uh, in click view where you can save n number of analysis and then can present uh, whenever you have your meeting with the management in this way you don't have to rework in front of uh, your management in the meeting which will be quite boring for those users who do not have any time to look at to look at what are all the selections that you are making they are just concerned about the result so you have already saved the result in this thing you just select it and boom everything is in front of them simple but very effective so go ahead and uh, use this thing and surprise your management they will surely appreciate your efforts and uh, now i will talk to you in our next video with a new object and till then bye bye